Welcome to Buzz in the Tower, a podcast dedicated to the movies of the 90s and 80s. I'm Mo Shapiro, joined with Cyrus the Virus, Max Woo! Sanders. And today we're talking about Con Air. Get off my plane. It's the wrong movie. What do you mean? That's Air Force One. Yeah. Con Air, Air Force. Air Force One and Con Air. Tango and Cash. Gonna, cash yeah. and Tango. Are you going to quote Passenger 57 next? Con Air is the hillbilly first cousin yeah. of Air Force One. Die Hard 2. Yeah. Yeah. That's plain. The hardening. Yeah. <laughs> Die hard to the hardening. <laughs> Die hardening. Max, welcome to the show. Hello. It's uh Orange is a good color for me. I have to tell you, that is an outfit I thought you'd be wearing well before we started <laughs> this podcast. You've been arrested? Detained, not arrested. Yeah, yeah me too. Drunk yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um gosh. Never in the drunk tank. I'm trying to think when I've been detained. <laughs> Once I yeah, no, Once right. I got an MIP. Yeah. Minor in possession of alcohol one month before my 21st birthday. Nice. I was having a party at my house back when I lived on Packard. Nope, not Packard. South University. Remember? No uh, one cares about the street. <laughs> do you remember? Um, what is that liquor store? Sar- Sergeant Peppers. Oh, yeah. That liquor store yep. right on South yep. U. I live directly across the street. Uh, 1015 East U? That's yeah. East U. No, I know people that live there. That's where I used to yeah. live. And it has the little like pillars in front. Yeah, yeah. And I walked across the street holding a cup of beer and got hit by a cop car. Oh my like hit? Yeah, I got hit, knocked over. Were, and they came over there like I was wasted. They came over and they're like, Are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. And give me an MIP. I turned 21 in a month. And they're like, Well, we kind of have to now. And I was like, All right. Did you really say that? Yeah, it was totally no big deal back then. I did take like an alcohol awareness class, and there was 15 people. We had like 150 people at our house for that party. It was wild. That story sounds made up. That was legit. Yeah. So that's how you would be in the Con Air movie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They'd call me Garland. <laughs> I, I wore Rape a girl's- 20 beagles. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Mo 22. <laughs> call me Johnny 600 oh, if they knew the truth. They knew the truth. <laughs> Con Air. All right, Max. Well, before we start talking about all things Con Air, a reminder, you can listen to our podcast and subscribe on any podcast player, Apple yeah. Podcasts, Spotify, you name it, we're on it. Follow, leave a review, five stars. Head on over to YouTube.com slash at Buzz in the Tower. That's where you can see this shirt, Miyagi-Do. I think I've worn it before. I'll wear it you again. Have. It's my favorite it's shirt. Lame. I love this shirt. Yeah. Uh, not like yours. Yours is <laughs> only the finest linens. But Miyagi-Do is from our sponsor and supporter of the show, 80stees.com. Relive your greatest memorabilia in t-shirt form. It's the best way to do it. It is the best way to do it. And stickers. Patreon.com slash Buzz in the Tower, where you can support the show financially for as little as two pennies a day. Two dollars and eighty cents a month. That's, you can't beat that. That's a yeah. birth, that's a birthday gift. And we'll shout you out. We will shot you out. Shot through the. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Synapses. Buzzinthetower.com <laughs> is the website. We're here. We're ready. Yeah. We're talking Con Air. Max, this was uh, on the short list of movies. When I said let's do it, you're like yes, yeah. yes. Well, Nick Cage in this three movie run is the most unexpected face off. The Rock. The Rock. And this. And this. So this and the face-off came out three weeks uh, yeah. apart from each yeah, other. Yeah, he was f- working on filming both at the and same remember, time. And remember, he came off winning the Oscar yeah. and did these three. Uh, for Leaving, leaving Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Have yeah, you seen yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very, very good movie. Very good movie. So it's, I mean, it's a very strange, I've never seen an actor been like, okay, I'm the biggest star in the world, now I'm going to kick some butt. Nick Cage. And nailing it. Nick Cage yeah. is in that The Cage group. is on. Yeah, but he's in that group of... Walken, Lithgow, Cage. You like this group lately? Yeah, yeah but the the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the weirdos. Yeah, but the no, weirdos in the weird land. But none of them has been as big and butt kicking. Cage is his own universe. Yeah, he owns dinosaur bones. He does. The man is out of control. <laughs> he, how can you not love Nick Cage? Yeah, Raising Arizona is amazing. Like that's a hidden gem that people he don't has, dive into enough. He has six movie careers in one career. We'll talk about his him oh, in depth I bet later. You have yeah, a lot to talk about so him. much good stuff. I'm putting you on the clock. Yeah, we we only have a little bit of time. But it's this past is past my bedtime. This is also the greatest ensemble action cast of all time. So it's funny because when we started doing this, we had done Heat a couple weeks ago, and yeah. I said, "Is this the best ensemble cast <laughs> ever?" And you're like, yes. "Hold my beer." And then you're like, "Wait a second, <laughs> yeah. it, it here it is." I, I, here's here's the qualification I have to put on so this. So that that one in Heat, it's like everyone did it because they're like, oh, we're gonna be in the greatest movie ever. This one's for the money. Even a little bit different than that. No, Th- okay. This, okay. this is the this is the Adam Sandler <laughs> ver- versus Bill Murray conversation. Oh, interesting. Okay, like I I think you can love them both. Yeah. I think you can appreciate them both. Yeah. I think you have to recognize, excluding Punch Drunk Love and some of his later work, Uncut Jams. Yeah, like Uncut Jams. <laughs> I think you have to accept. 
Adam Sandler for what he is. And, yeah, right. And like Nick Cage, as it pertains to action films, yeah. is wobbity doo. Like, yeah. and, and he's not. This, this, I mean, he's wild. This, his his acting is yeah, but, so over the top. But Max. it works. It does. Not, yeah. Look, who am I to complain? Yeah. I love this movie. Yeah. But it's it's in a different category. Yeah, his, it's in its own universe. You're not digging his Alabama accent, and that's why I say like Malkovich. Yeah. Malkovich, 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 he, Malkovich, Malkovich. He, <laughs> Malkovich is the one foot in each camp. Yeah, the real actor who's also wacky, like tabacky, wacky, tabacky. Yeah. <laughs> He's very strange. So Max, I don't even know where do you begin in a film like this. Do you jump right into the no? T- tell p- tell the good people at home on YouTube. Look into their eyes and tell them what this movie's about. Because uh, people need to know. It's I mean it's a, it's Die Hard on a prison plane. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, Go to the coast. So Nick Cage is playing a guy who's got a Cameron Poe, Edgar Allan right Poe, yeah, mm-hmm. who's getting out of prison after kind of wrongfully being accused. Let's go back. Let's go yeah. back. You're you're killing this. The yeah. beginning of this movie. <clears throat> oh, by the way, the beginning of this movie, the guy he kills. Do you know who that is? It looks. He looks familiar. Yeah, it should. It's Wayne Grow from Heat. It's Kevin Gage. That's awesome. Yeah, and he's like. This is why we lost Vietnam. He's yeah. like, whoa, buddy. He's like, I'd, 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 go, I'd, I'd take a beating for a girl like her or something yeah. like that. Yeah. The beginning of this movie <laughs> is a. <laughs> if you, if you Listen, let me just say it. Costner, you're going to have to bleep this. I, I challenge you oh. to go back and watch the beginning of this movie, but yeah. instead of the score that's provided musically, <laughs> instead listen to America. <laughs> f- yeah. Like, because it is the most. Like American bald eagle humping an American bald eagle while watching NASCAR. Yeah, I've ever seen in my entire They're life. They're pumping up the Army Rangers. The, the the guy who does the voiceover for his like accolades and everything in yeah. the beginning of this movie. Do you know who that is? No. Oh my god. Who hold on. It? Hold on. I got to go to my notes because I got to use No, it's Powers Booth. No way. And you know who that is? Red Dawn. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. He's in a whole bunch of stuff, by the way. He's like, also the bad guy from what's the one where John Claude Van Damme. Has to rescue the ho- he has to rescue the rescue the hockey all star game. Oh god, overtime? No, no. not overtime. Uh, god. Sudden death. Sudden death. Yeah, he's a yes. bad guy. So he's also in MacGruber. <laughs> he's Colonel Faith and <laughs> Faith and MacGruber, and he's also in uh, some of the Avenger movies as like the the like senators that are in like the dark room. Oh, he's cool. like one of them. But what yeah. more importantly, he's Andy. I mean, he's also Curly Bill uh, Brokus from Tombstone. Oh yeah. But more importantly, he's Andy from Red Dawn, yeah. who like starts to hit on. A fifteen-year-old, like, yeah, he really Reed does. It was super weird, yeah. But like, that's what this movie is. This movie is like, all right, give me an intro and give me, a, like, yeah, give me, a, give me. It is the beginning of this movie is like Nick Cage. Nick Cage is a young Chuck, Chuck Norris. He's yeah. a young Chuck Norris. Yeah, just a, a tough, tough as nails. And then <laughs> the beginning, the beginning of this movie when he goes into the bar to see his girlfriend who yeah. is pregnant. His hummingbird is a is a absolute TikTok. Like military reunion video, yeah, right. How do I? I up the, we'll get to that. Yeah. We'll get to the music. We'll get to it all. So he goes. <laughs> he comes back from the military. <laughs> Army Rangers. Army Rangers. Just an absolute ass kicker. Yeah. His girlfriend, who's working or wife, excuse me, working yeah. at a bar. Yep. Pregnant with their daughter. And it's an oyster bar, by the way. I sure. I'm like, why not? Would you order oysters in that bar? I, well, I assume they're they got to be in the South, right? They are. He, yeah, he's, he's from like, Alabama. He's from Alabama. Yeah. Sweet home, Alabama. Yeah. So he goes back there, and there are like the scuzziest dudes in this bar. Yep. I mean, make it make scorekeepers look like the nicest place on yeah. earth. And they're just like, go oh, come over here and sit in my lap, pretty girl, all this horrible <laughs> stuff. So um he flashes the madness. Yeah. I like the flash of the madness, and his wife's like, I thought I thought the Rangers would get that out of no, your No, it's like system. uh on TikTok, someone bumped into Sam Selleck. Have you seen that video? Uh-huh. So Sam Selleck's like this big body lip, yeah, yeah, yeah. bodybuilder, the skinny guy as a joke, it just goes like this and bumps into him. Yeah. And you see the monster come out of this yeah. dude. Well, yeah. so the monster is put put to rest. They can't hide the monster. They're they're leaving. Yeah. It's the end of the of course there's rain. There's gotta yeah. be rain because it's gotta be the yeah. intro to point break where like you This know, is the longest explanation of the most <laughs> insignificant part it's of the not movie. A, but, okay. <laughs> All right. I accept what you're saying, but let me just say one thing. No, no, no. Keep going. I is love it, it. Is it insignificant or is it is it a crescendo <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're, of the most absurd movie ever? You're doing like the John Madden, like, bam. Yeah, bam. Here's, here's, the here's, see, here's what happened here. <laughs> boom. We just blocked him. And then he, he did the uh, hand palm to the nose, broke the nose, killed him. Boom. 
<laughs> and like the little stupid things, like any of us would complain, like the, the, they bring a knife out. Yeah. And the knife is why switch he had to blade. kill him. Yeah. And then the one guy runs away with the switchblade. Smart move. There's the evidence. It, that's a smart move. So he'd go into jail. He'd yeah. go and go 10 hard years in Alabama. And the lawyer's being a jerk to him. He's oh, like, you got to take plead guilty. You know what I mean? Alabama prison. Yeah. Go 10 hard years. I love, I love how the judge is like, you are a killer weapon. You cannot be trusted as a normal human I would, being. I would make the argument that the first 15 minutes of this movie. This is the best part. No, is you don't know if it's a Nick Cage movie, a Steven Seagal movie, yeah. or a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Yeah, that's true. It yeah. is like literally like marked for death above the law, Con Air. You and, don't know where you're going. And there's guitar solos oh, and stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. America. <laughs> So now you can go back to your explanation. I, I felt you weren't doing enough justice to this. Yeah, it's just a bunch of psychopaths on a plane. He's trying to get his way home. Nick Cage goes to jail. He gets paroled. Yeah. So he's just get, he's hopping a ride yeah. home. He's done. Yep. He's out. He's done. His buddy. By uh, the way, his look of freedom when he's uh, all off the amazing. bus. It's I'm going to get that tattooed on me yeah. at some point. His best friend. His mullet, His best friend in jail, Bubba Gum Shrimp. baby O. He is not paroled, but he's not doing like the hardest of times. So and they he seem needs, to be okay. He needs, and he needs his insulin. He yeah. needs his insulin. He's diabetic. They're hopping a ride on a plane. Yep. Little do they know. This is an all-star crew. That this plane is housing the worst of the worst <laughs> criminals. Like what a great premise. Oh, yeah. Like every single, like uh, like a, a Black Panther militant, yep. a serial killer, a, uh, like a rage killer, yeah, a rapist. Uh, a rapist, a serial rapist. Yeah. And they're all getting on this plane, and there is a devised plot to overthrow the plane. Yep. And that's where Harrison Ford comes in and says, <laughs> What's he say, Max? Get off my. There is no spoon. Yes. <laughs> Patriots, that's good. Yeah. So they hijack the plane. Why, after quotes, do you have to say the movie quietly afterwards? <clears> like, can't you let I'm the fans? Super, I'm weird. I'm just so weird. <laughs> you just, it, there's something like OD, OCD about what OD, you're yeah. ODB. You're like, have to say OD, it. Have hey, to say it. Dirty. <laughs> next baby, time, I got your money. Next time you quote something, try not to say the thing fine, afterwards. I won't. Fine. There you go. Fine. So they, they hijack Looking the nice. plane and Nick Cage, Poe, because he's a good person. He, yeah. can't, he can't just leave these. Innocent guards and the his body yeah. to to be laid waste. So the whole movie is just him overtaking the plane and working with John Cusack, yeah, which is fantastic. Yeah, and making everything nowhere. worse. And that's the movie. Yeah, in a nutshell. Yeah. Now, now, baby, that's the movie <laughs> in, a in a nutshell. How did I get in this giant nutshell? That's good. So that's uh, so that's Con Air. Prison movies. Dun, 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 dun. Prison movies are the best because you think how well, would the I best do? Prison it? movies are the ones of all women that were on Showtime. <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> so in the beginning, when he's in prison yeah. and he's. <laughs> You all right there, buddy? I'm not. Yeah, okay. I'm getting some uh, PTSD. I'm all right. Yeah. I just was thinking about how many of those movies I've seen as a yeah. uh, as a youth. Well, it's like Shawshank and all those ones. You think how you would do in prison. How would you do on this plane? How would you do in prison, Max? Uh, I'd do okay because I'd be someone. You'd be fresh fish. Yeah. I, but I'd find the biggest guy and be his, you know, his whatever. Fish. Yeah. Yeah. Fish. Mm, delicious too. Or I'd, I'd do what he did with Baby I'll Give him coconut uh, pink balls. Yeah. Nope. No. Snowballs. No. I, I give him I don't, snowballs. I don't know what you're referring to. The he gives him a can he gives him the snow snowballs. He's like the, that. those pink things. Yeah. Don't remember any of this. That happened. Uh, I believe you. Okay. It sounds weird. <laughs> to edit the whole thing out. And he's doing like all this just like keep it. I hate him. He's doing all this like karate kind of stuff and like weighted push ups and he looks jacked. Can he's, we if there's I'm pretty sure I just want to go on record. Yeah. There's no karate that was done by him at all. Uh he does a roundhouse kick. That's a point. Yeah, but you're referring to the beginning of the movie when he's like training. It's in like his yoga. Cell. Yeah. I don't think there's any yoga being done either. Weighted push ups. He like lifts himself up where yeah, it's like it, the Buddhist it, pose. It, it, he, all he did was an upside down. He did a wall he push up. Threw a mullet. Yeah. Isn't that he, Buddhist? When it is the greatest mullet of I, all time. I, I, I it's hate. It's so wispy. I hate Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. I hate Aaron but when Rodgers. He came, when he came. But when he showed up to training <laughs> camp. Yeah. Wearing a white wife beater yep. and his hair like Poe, yeah. clearly, and, the tight and, jeans. and it was all over Sports Center when it yep. was like Con Air, Nick Cage. It was incredible. Yeah, it was amazing. All credit to him. Yeah, it is the most. Actually, if I had to make a list of the two most endearing throwback to movie things that athletes have ever done that I've ever seen, is it Jason Kelsey and the Goonies? No, that's really good. Yeah. That's not my. Another Goonies. Uh, he did. 50 I know first dates. Fifty first yeah. dates. My two favorites. That's yeah. a good one. My two favorites are when Jared Goff made it to Detroit. Yeah. He threw on the Axel Foley oh, yeah. Lions really jacket, cool. yeah. which was incredible. Yeah. And then it would be this. Yeah. It would be Aaron Rodgers dressing as yeah. Poe from Con Air. So this feels like the 90s action movies really went for it. Like, seriously. They weren't, like, winking or trying to be like. Be like There's a reason on this one. What? So we're going to get into it. Like Broken Arrow. No, uh, Simpson and Bruckheimer. Oh, yeah. This was his first solo. Yeah. Uh, Simpson's the one who died, right? <laughs> yeah. But, but, but Don Simpson didn't want to be a part of this. He's like, it's too much. It's too stupid. Too much. And then, yeah. he, and then he OD'd on cocaine. Yeah. 
But that was too much. It, Con Air was too much for him. By the way, if you want to have a laugh, look up the Vanity Fair article about his kind of daily process of I'm sure wh- what he ingested. Absurd. I'm sure it was insane. It's like he was an elephant. Yeah. 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 So he this is Bruckheimer's first, like, not yeah. with Don Simpson. The lightning bolt for the first time. It's not the two lightning bolts. Yeah. It's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he, this feels like every, this feels like Michael Bay. Yeah. If you didn't know any better. Bayham movie. All right. Now, look, I'm jumping into this early, yep. and I think I got to do it right now. What are you saying? What I got to let say? you know. I'm going to just, I'm coming out with you it right like now. don't like this movie? No, I, I'm not. This is even better. I, I usually give you my, this is going to be a TikTok. This is going to be a short moment. Yeah. I've got it right now. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Max, this movie was directed by Simon West. Yes, it was. Do you know who Simon West is? I don't even care if you know. Don't even answer my question. It was rhetorical. Okay. Simon West directed Con Air. Yep. His only accolade prior to this was directing a music video by Rick Astley called Never Gonna Give You Up. I just want you to wrap your head around the fact that the director of the Rick Astley Never Gonna Give You Up is also who directed Con Air. It makes sense. Strap that on yeah. and play it as your YouTube short or as your TikTok video because people are going to lose their minds you over gonna that. You're going to Rick roll it? I'm yeah. going to Rick roll it. Yeah. Rick, Rick roll, please. All right, Max, let's get weird. Let's hop into it. Okay, trivia? No, whatever you want. Okay. This, your, this is your world I'm living in. I had to interrupt with the Rick Astley thing because I, I couldn't believe it. Which, by the way, have you watched uh, David Grohl? And his whole thing with Rick Astley, like no. performing together. They perform together, dude. They're like they, he's gone on stage with them. They've toured together. I think he's doing Foo Fighter stuff, or no, they're doing no, they're Rick doing Ashley's Rick Astley stuff. stuff. That's yeah, wild. It, it's amazing. <laughs> Dave Grohl has a universal like approval rating, he's right? The best, dude. Yeah, the best. Yeah, so especially because everybody hates Courtney uh, Love. It's true. Uh, all right, that's. I mean, that's. There's other facts out there, Max, yeah. but that is a big one for me. What so do this you got? movie cost seventy five million. It made two hundred twenty four million dollars. And that's hard for a hard R movie. Oh, that's yeah. like an action movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's how like, did this get hard R? What do you mean? Well, there's no nudity. There's no sexual content. There's threats. There's utter violence. In but like, it's very rare that you see a hard R movie without a little flash of nudity. It's very rare. Uh, is there any nudity? Nick Cage shirtless. That's um, not nudity, but thank yeah. you. Continue, Max. <laughs> I derailed you, and you went to your little cage of cage. <laughs> Malkovich was pissed because they kept uh, changing the script daily on this yeah, movie. I could not imagine him having a good time. So they asked him why he made this movie, like on the red carpet, and yeah. he just goes, money, and yeah. walks away. Yeah. I mean, it seems like everyone, John Cusack denounces this movie yeah. and hates it. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah. I, I don't understand. People are, I mean, uh, what's his face? Kenny Loggins hates yeah. um, Danger Zone. So what would it be for you, like, if you got paid- This podcast. <laughs> if this podcast became super popular, well, I would distance myself from it because of you. I was going to be super nice and be like, what if people knew you as a firefighter for saving kittens, but like yeah. they didn't care about you no, saving podcast, burning buildings? This podcast. Okay. That's a good example. Yeah. Max, this movie almost won two Oscars. Uh, best original song, How Do I? Which also almost won the Razzie. Right. And best sound. And they lost both categories to a little movie called Titanic. Oh, that's, yeah. Which makes sense. Everybody lost to Titanic that year. Yeah. The fact that there are two things about Con Air that made it to the Oscars, in and of itself, is incredible. 14-year-old Leanne Rimes. By the way, when that song is playing at the end and he meets his daughter, I get a little wispy. Sure. A little teary-eyed. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. John John Cusack just watching, smoking a cigarette. Just so we're clear. I know. (laughs) Do it. Do it slowly. (laughs) Just so we're clear. Military reunion videos are the universal tearjerkers. Yeah. Like, it, it should be the test of your, if you're a sociopath. Oh, my God. When if he, you don't cry when you see those, there's something wrong with you. You're when, dead inside. When Cameron Poe is holding the bunny and he's like, oh, it's dirty. I'm sorry. And he's, like, trying to, like, connect with his daughter. Yeah. And she goes, I got a picture of you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got a picture of you, too. Cusack. How do I? Cusack. Cusack and Buscemi's yeah. characters were written with them in mind. So the screenwriter of this movie is Scott Rosenberg, and he was Rosenberg. friends. <laughs> that reminds me of the roast <laughs> when uh, Seth Rogen's yeah. roast, when they're like, Seth Rogen, oh, I don't remember who it was. Oh, was it Bill uh, Hader as the, no, like, the mayor of Hollywood? No, 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 this was funnier. Okay. It was, uh, who's Big Mouth? The guy who does Nick uh, Kroll. Nick Kroll's like, Seth Rogen's got a writing partner named like Evan Joey Rosen- Evan yeah. Rosenberg. Like, what? You were too hideous to show the other one. It was I, I blew it. I just you did. blew it. You did. I blew it so bad. Tommy Boy sale. Oh man, it's so late. It's, Get a, it's nine so late. Forty five bedtime. Yeah. Anyways, the screenwriter was friends with both the actors, and when he wrote the script, he did it with both of them in mind for those roles. It's which awesome, was amazing. Someone died in this movie. Yeah, uh, Phil Schwartz, uh, <laughs> who the movie's a dedicated pl- a to. A plane fell on him, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> a rigged plane crushed him. That'll kill you. This is the second plane-related death in a Jerry Bruckheimer movie. What was the first? Top Gun. 
Really? I didn't I, know that. Yeah, our show uh, spun out, and uh, he was a camera plane, and it spun out, and in the Pacific Ocean, he oh. uh, he just that makes it was, Gun it was very fun. specific. In the Pacific, that's yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Uh, so this is great. Last time the Sands Hotel was filmed on screen. So, yeah, they got lucky because they were going to destroy it anyways. So it's a, it's a really important hotel. This is where the Rat Pack played. This yeah. is where Sinatra, uh, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. Doesn't Cage have like an unhealthy obsession with Elvis? Yeah, he married his daughter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well played, Max. Yeah. So, yeah, he's obsessed with uh, Elvis and Superman. <laughs> okay. Those, I mean, among other things. Yeah, yeah. New Orleans, funerals. Yeah. Uh, dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones. Tarantulas. Could, could do a whole episode on Cage, couldn't we? I mean, I would love to. Yeah. Do you want to start getting into the... No, no, no. We'll, nah, do, nah, we'll nah, do the cage really. up later. He did all his own stunts in this movie. Yeah. So and he wild. was 3% body fat, which I don't know. He was jacked in this movie. He is. He was uh, lifting weights in between scenes. I'm sure. Yeah. Just bulk out his arms. Well, he's never been like... He's a big guy, and you just know him for the overacting. He calls it super acting. Yeah. Or mega acting, I think it's called. Super acting. Yeah. Uh, David Lynch calls him the... What was it the best jazz musician of uh, acting of all time or something like that? Because okay. he's like wacky. So yeah. he, well, he improvs all the time, yeah, yeah. which a lot of people don't like. Apparently, well, another person who improvs on this movie and also someone who people forget was in this movie, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, <laughs> pinball. Dave Chappelle yeah. in this movie. How? <laughs> Jesus, man, this movie is so. He's an arsonist. He just he's... lights the guy on fire. Maybe that's how you got the R rating because he just light a guy on that fire. That is next true. Too. I, well, when he takes the stuff out of his mouth, yeah. Well, it was in his stomach. He threw it up. I know. I'm so saying it's in a condom. I know. I'm saying yeah. it's gross. Right, yeah. That's that's, that's the that's like your drug meal. Yeah. <laughs> when he broke, he breathes. And he's like, he told me he loved me. He's like, oh, your breath smells like death. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, this was released the same month as uh, Face Off. You could have seen this a double feature. I think I did. I want to take his face oh. off. And the U.S. Marshals uh, denounced this movie and wouldn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, dude. And, uh, but like Malkovich, on. Malkovich turned down Air Force One for this movie. Shut up. He, the Sinise role. Oh, uh, no, funny. no, the Gary Oldman role. No, so. the Oldman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sinise is in that movie. Um, Mickey Rourke was supposed to play Cyrus, but yeah. he blew the audition because he took a real Boeing knife out and went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs yep. at the audition table. So, also, uh, Jason Isaac. Do you know who that is? Mm. Uh, he's God. Who's the guy who says like, "Hey Potter," uh, the evil guy from Harry Potter, A- Alan Rick. No, uh, the little Alan kid. Rick. The Jesus. little kid. I have no idea. Uh, his dad. I'm not like a Harry Potter so dude. The bad guy from the Patriot. Okay. He, his name is Jason Isaac. Gotcha. He was auditioning to be uh, Cyrus. Okay. And the he's box. like, oh, I forgot the prop gun. I don't know where it is. Simon West's assistant just pulled out a gun <laughs> and gave it to Jason Isaac. And he's like, this is a real gun. And yeah. he couldn't do the audition because he was so nervous. Yeah, that's. <laughs> There's a lot of questions for That's Simon West's okay. assistance. It's not okay at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. Oh my Do you God. know that those two movies combined, uh, Face Off and Con Air, um, grossed over two, $220 million That's crazy. Between the two of them. Yeah. I mean, The Rock was $100 million too. He was yeah. unstoppable. The Rock was incredible. Yeah. What, what's your favorite out of the three? The Rock. I love The Rock. What's your favorite Nick Cage performance out of the three? Oh, uh, Face Ni- Off. Okay. See, I think this is the most enjoyable Nick Cage. I, I love this movie. Because this is his hero role. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's not sharing it with anybody else. Yeah. I'm going to show you that God does exist. You love this movie Oh, too when much. he gets, when Baby O gets shot and he just goes, Jesus! <laughs> it's, it's my favorite random piece of acting. <laughs> the U.S. Marshal Service. So I think it's kind of cool that, like, all of the ridiculous contraptions in the plane, even when they get Garland out and yeah. they, like, are walking him with, like, the the weird, like, your <laughs> like a, magnetic a stuff. killer. Yeah. All that stuff is real. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the U.S. Marshal Service introduced the Justice Prisoner and Alien Transportation System. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's, <laughs> and it, which quickly earned the nickname Con Air. Love your work. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were just doing a memorabilia episode? He's got the whole, or the, what, the Barbie doll? No, no, I thought of, I wanted the plane. Yeah. The plane doesn't exist because yeah. it got bought by a bunch of people. It crashed in 2010. Oh, okay. Killing three of the uh, crew members. Oh, that's not good. So the jailbird, by the way, the little logo, I think it'd be cool as a tattoo. But it yeah. kind of... But it shows like I'm not an I'm not a criminal. No, like, well, uh, not uh, the convicted <laughs> one at least. <laughs> oh man! Originally, that plane was supposed to crash uh, land on the White House. Yeah, and they they're like, wait, that's too much. A little bit too much. That that's where they drew the line. That's a little over the top. Here's the best <laughs> the best fact I've dug from everything. This okay. is it. Had this happened, it would have been the happiest moment of my life. Okay, there's still time in my opinion. Okay. Simon West, the director, had suggested making a sequel that took place in space. <laughs> With everyone's dead, right? I, I, the idea, though, yeah. that like it, like you could make a Con Air today, and instead of it being like it could be alien, yeah. So you there's, know, there's prisoners. A, there's a Guy Pierce movie about like a space prison that's incredible. Oh my gosh! Yeah, 
It's really, really good. That's... So do you know who was first considered for Cameron Poe? No. Patrick Swayze. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. The the, the roles yeah. over the top ish. Grizzled I could see that. and like yeah, the yeah. hero guy. And he'd have the better hair. Oh yeah. Why are you so thirsty? I don't know. I just am Jesus. <laughs> it's disarming. Like when your lips won't move because you're like drinking. I don't know what to do. Well, you might have to carry the show sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's past my bedtime. Just yeah. do, get your work done. <laughs> What's in there? Well, and vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Remember during COVID when he became a scotch drinker? Yes. Yeah. Scotch, scotch, scotch. <laughs> And I would hear the glass, the the rocks would clink against. I remember you're like you're like you're drinking that a lot faster than most people drink scotch, and I, I'd be like, thirty minutes later, I'd be red in the cheek, like, hey, <laughs> woo! You're like, this is a problem, dude. I really was drinking scotch like, yeah, like three nights a week. You're like, McCallum's great. I drink now maybe once every two and a half months. Yeah. And during COVID, I was drinking scotch three nights a week. It's, it's crazy. crazy. Uh, so Buscemi based his serial killer on a bunch of other famous ones: Ted Bundy, uh, Manson, uh, w- Wayne and Gacy. I cut a woman's head off yeah. and wore it as a hat <laughs> once. The best part about this movie is he's psychotic and like and you lovable. Ha- you have the backstory. He doesn't yeah. do anything in this movie that's not lovable. He puts his seatbelt on. He leaves that girl to live. You put the TikTok video up. Is this the best ending to a movie ever? And out of nowhere, new yeah. shooter. <laughs> Feeling lucky, <laughs> isn't it great? It's just wild. Yeah, he's feeling lucky. Is so I'm gonna wild. eat every one of his table. <laughs> so wild. No, 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 no. You, you, when you're watching this and he's in the vacant swimming pool at the trailer park, yeah, you're with like, the girl. he's gonna rip you're, her arms here. Like, yeah, he's gonna murder the girl. <laughs> and, she, and they put the weird fish eye lens on her. Are like, you sick, Mister? Yeah. No. They don't have a medicine don't have for, medicine medicine for what I have. <laughs> That's you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, when she's waving at the end. Oh, also, like, his speech about what insanity is, about, like, living a corporate life yeah. and not dying on the, to- like, dying before you can't make it to the toilet on time. It's weird poetry. Whoever wrote that, like, actually spoke to a Probably generation. a corporate job. That's yeah. wrote it. Yeah. I don't know. Unbelievable. Good Buscemi. Good Buscemi. By the way, it's really terrible, though. The Steve Buscemi, the middle part haircut, like, from War Meets World and all, it's back. People are wearing it. I don't yeah, like it. Okay. It's terrible. Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Max, what else you got on this movie? Uh, so Feed me your facts. I'm, I'm plumb out, so it's all on you. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you my best facts. It just <laughs> The Toy Bunny was Nick Cage's idea. Yeah. That's about the last fact I have. So this movie was originally supposed to be Nick Cage as a prisoner in a prison where a scared straight kid comes in. Yeah. And then there's a prison break, and he has to protect the kid. Body count was 43 in this movie, so it's violent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kid Rock <laughs> made the song American Badass about Cameron Poe. Really? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> and pretty much everyone in Hollywood got offered these roles, like uh, Alec Baldwin, George Clooney, Robert De Niro, Will, uh, Tom Cruise, Johnny Depp, Dolph Lundgren, Brad Pitt, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Well, that's but, a great segue into the cast. Yeah. So, so Nick Cage. Yeah, go ahead. The me. greatest living American actor. <laughs> what? Nothing. Go ahead. I mean, as Cameron Poe, yes, so Nick Cage. He's been married five times. Yep, one to Lisa Marie Presley. Mm-hmm. So because it was Elvis Love. Yes, he did, he married Patricia Arquette. Okay, yeah, I think I feel like I knew that. So the first day he saw her, he proposed to her, and she's like, "You're weird." And then they didn't see each other for years, and they rekindled, and they eventually got married. All right. Uh, he once woke up in his Orange County house in the middle of the night to find a naked man eating a fudgicle in front of his bed. <laughs> The man was arrested by police, but Cage pressed no charges. Sure. It was probably... Probably about his. is. Sorry. <laughs> uh, he made his voice distinctive because he noticed that, like, Clark Gable and, like, old movie stars had yeah. these very, like, distinctive he, voices. He is a, a passionate, like, he he loves, like, the rich history of Hollywood. Yeah. Like, he's a lover of Hollywood. No, you seen The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent? No. Okay. I, I mean, I've, I'm familiar with it, but I haven't seen yeah. it. Yeah. So he's, like, gushing about movies. Yeah, and, yeah. by the way, one of his top three movies is Padding the Two. So, suck it. Continue. Uh, he was offered the role of uh, Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin. Would have been really good as he that. He would have been good as yeah. that. Yeah. So was uh, so was uh, John Malkovich. Malkovich would have been really good. <laughs> 120 acting credits. So I'm trying to stop me when you like these are like your favorite ones. So Fast Times, nothing really. Valley Girl. Yeah. It's great. Rumblefish, Cotton Club, Peggy Sue Got Married. Love, Peggy Sue, I love Peggy Sue Got Married. His accent is so strange in that movie. Yeah. Uh, Raising Arizona. Love it. Moonstruck. Love it. Unbelievable. Him and Snap him and out of Yeah. It. Uh, Vampire's Kiss, where he ate a cockroach three times. Mm. Really strange movie. Mm. Like, very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, Red Rock West, by the way, which is Never a great... It. It's like a Western thriller kind of All thing. Right. Uh, it Could Happen to You is one of the most charming movies I've ever seen. Mm. You seen that one? No. Nope. He wins a lottery ticket, and he promises... Oh, he's the cop. I yeah. have seen that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's married to... Uh, don't be stupid. Maria, Chiqui- Maria Conchita Alonso. No, not Maria Conchita nope. Alonso. Uh, Rosie Perez. Rosie Perez. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like... 
Uh, Not that I was thinking Running Man. I don't know Kiss why. Kiss of Death, he's awesome with David Caruso. He's mm-hmm. nuts. Leaving Las Vegas when he won the yep. Oscar. Yep. Uh, City of Angels, one of the saddest movies yeah, of all time. Yeah. Snake Eyes, which is terrible. 8 millimeter, awesome. 8 millimeter is really uh, good. Gone in 60 Seconds, Family Man. Adaptation. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Magic Men, National Will we be going through all 135 of his roles? Uh, no, I, you're good. You're good. I love Lord of War. Okay. Wicker Man, bees. John Cusack. Yeah. Agent Vince Larkin. Yep. Uh, he's never been married. No. His greatest two roles. You John, know they John are? Cusack's brother? No. No. Oh. His greatest two roles, unquestionably. Gross Woman Blank? Say anything. Hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> he's really good in Hot Tub Time Machine. He's really good in Hot Tub Time Machine. High Fidelity, he's the best. I mean, as like a kind of anything is his best role. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. You love Lloyd Dobler. It's you, know, you just, love Lloyd Dobler. I do too. He's yeah. your he's your like model. Uh, High fidelity is more my model actually. Yeah. So Junkie's like the way he talks. He has that Robert Downey Jr. kind of like smart, sarcastic, like kind of a schmuck, but like Cusack and uh, what the hell is his name? Uh, Keanu Reeves. Very similar to me. What? Yep. They've got this like similar like dopey like kind of feel. Cusack's to them. the intellectual over talky guy like Downey Jr. No. I disagree. Keanu's more of the one note. Whoa. No. Oh, okay. You've misread him. Interesting. I'll educate you later. Yes. Continue. Cyrus the Virus, John Malkovich. Uh, when he was a teenager, he decided to get his excessive weight under control. He lost 70 pounds by eating nothing but jello for four months. It's pretty wild. Of course, you would have that fact. Yeah. That's wild. And he's a nightclub in Portugal. I'm going to go to it one time. You should. He's fluent in French and he's lived in France for over 10 years. So he's kind of, he doesn't like the American media. He likes to do. My dad saw a performance of him on stage. He said it was incredible. I met him. He had a film that he really directed. It was some art house film. Was um, the hundred year one? No. But so it was... do you know? Do you know about this? By the way, Mm-mm. he filmed the uh, movie in 2015 that is under lock for a hundred years. It gets released in 2011, 2115. Oh no, I'm yeah. not that. Uh, yeah. But he he was in Birmingham and yeah. he, he like did like a Q and A session. Was it the hello, film. hello, I Mo? Vaguely, vaguely remember it, Max. Vaguely, <laughs> but I did meet him. Yeah, dangerous liaisons, really good. Uh, and also, I mean, my favorite role is Rounders. Okay, Teddy he's, KGB he's hanging yeah. around. This kid's got alligator <laughs> blood. <laughs> Your Malkovich is good. Yeah, well, in that movie. Yeah, in the Line of Fire, by the way, with Clint Eastwood. I love in the he's Line gra- of Fire. Yeah, he's a great psycho. We're gonna we're gonna do that movie. Yeah, and of Mice and Men, that that's like the actor's role when he yeah. plays Lenny, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, I mean, his most iconic is being John Malkovich. Yeah. I mean, he. He was, was the movie, John yeah, John Malkovich, yeah. Malkovich. Uh, Dave Chappelle, Pinball Parker. Yep. So he has actually, his pick of movies is actually like reasonably smart. He did Robin Hood Men in Tights, The Nutty Professor. God, yeah, the, the Nutty Professor, he's in that he iconic was great. scene. He was the, the comedian, comedian with the Eddie head. Murphy's like the, going after. Yeah, yeah. he's great. Uh, Half-Baked, incredible. Yeah, Half-Baked is a great movie. Yeah, Blue Streak, remember he's Martin I want to talk to Samson. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. Sometimes it's hard being young, black, and gifted. <laughs> I just want to get lifted. Uh, Blue Streak, he's Martin Lawrence, his friend. Hey, Doctor says I need a backyotomy. Uh, you've got mail on a star is born. He's like the friend. The friend? Of Tom Hanks. He's giving oh, yeah, him advice. Yeah, yeah. And star is born. Yeah. He's Bradley Cooper's friend. So he's had like a weirdly like decent like uh, acting career. Yeah. He can act. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ving Rhames, uh, the most important thing he is that no one knows he's from, he's the Arby's voice. We have the meats. You're kidding me. No, he is. That's really him? Yeah, that's really oh, that's him. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Nathan, Nathan Diamond Dog Jones. Yeah. He's so he's such an intimidating guy. He's only like five eight in real life. Mission Impossible. Yeah. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Marcellus Wallace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wallace. Yeah. Wallace. Yeah. Out of sight. Entrapment. Yep. Uh, bringing out the dead. Yep. Undisputed. I love Undisputed. Have you seen that? I have. Yeah. And Dawn of the Dead. Uh, Steve Buscemi. Garland Green. Yep. The Marietta Mangler. <laughs> These names are amazing. So far, we've got Cyrus the Virus. Yep. Pinball Parker. Nathan Diamond Dog Jones and the Marietta Mangler. And there's Billy Bedlam, I think. Too. Yeah. Uh, Buscemi. <sighs> he's your brother because he's a firefighter. Yeah. His his roles are incredible. I'm just trying to think of like Armageddon. He's hilarious. Yeah. Yippee Yeah, he's great. Um, Not a real diamond. He, you know, I'll tell you what I loved him in Fargo. Uh, the Sopranos. Oh yeah, when he was Tony's, Tony's cousin. cousin. Yeah, boy, are you fat? That. And you're like, oh my god. Yeah, he, he, Tony's gonna kill him. Well, because he was imitating the. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it was he was great. And also, he's funny. Remember, like Mr. Deeds. Yep. He's he's the guy with the crazy oh, eyes. Absolutely. Yeah. Or I mean, he's the psycho who. He's in a couple Sandler flicks. Yeah. Right? Oh, he's, he's the Bill, lipstick. Bill, Billy Madison. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate him. I hate him. No, no, that's uh. <laughs> no, that's yeah. That's Waterboy. Yeah, it is. So the crazy story about Buscemi. Buscemi has a scar on his cheek that has heavy makeup on. Yeah. Like whenever he's uh, 
on stage. Yeah. On April 12th, 2001, Buscemi was stabbed in the throat, head, and arm in a bathroom brawl in the Firebelly Lounge in Wilmington, North Carolina. The brawl also involved Vince Vaughn. So they have to use heavy makeup to like. That's wild. Isn't that crazy? It's also wild that Vince Vaughn was involved. Yeah, right? In that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. That's super weird. Yeah. Um, MC Ganey was the swamp thing. Yeah. Nothing particularly special about him. I just love the names. No, he's really fun. Danny Trejo, Johnny 23. Oh, my God. Heat. I mean, he's been in over 400 movies. He, uh, the Predators. Yeah. Uh, he was. I thought he was good in that. That the, I liked that remake. Uh, not remake. Yeah, the, the Richard Rodriguez one. Yeah. Where I, they're on I, the planet. I, liked, I yeah. thought it was good. Yeah. He was good in it, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Fishburne's great. He's a crazy guy. Super crazy. Yeah. Uh, what else has Trejo been in? Spy Kids, Triple yep. X, yep. Once Upon a Time he's in Mexico. Off, uh, ten Tarantino's... Uh, Machete? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's in a Grindhouse, but then they made Machete, which was a which Richard Gardner. Richard, yeah. yeah. Anchorman, he's the bartender, remember? Yes. I think you had enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel Takotten, yep. Guard Bishop. Yep. You would Super know her hot. best from Total Recall. It's kind of wild. Like, her career, she didn't really have anything else. All you need is Total Recall. Yeah. Buddy. She was on Lost for a while, too. Quaid. <laughs> Quato. Start the reactor. <laughs> uh, Sally Can't Dance was Rinaldi Santiago. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's freaking hackers. Or mm-hmm. he, they. They. I don't, I'm I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, McKelty Williams, who's Bubba Gum Shrimp, yep. is Baby O. Odell. Uh, Cole Meany is Agent wait, Duncan wait. Malloy. M- Mikel Wilson, by the way, uh, he was arrested for stalking his ex-wife and stabbing his friend. He was released on $180,000 bail the next day. <laughs> He's also a free willy. Yeah. Stabbing someone is aggressive. Yeah. A lot of stabbing in this episode. I lost that. So I started I stabbing. I like... <laughs> so <laughs> who's the most psychotic of all the criminals? Who, would you, who do you relate to the most, and who is your favorite criminal? <sighs> who's the most psychotic? Because Cyrus has a plan, at least. Who is the guy who tries to out Poe? And he has to basically he kills him Billy in, in the underbelly. Yeah, Billy Bedlam. He actually comes across as the most psychotic. Yeah, me. he's the one who caught his wife cheating and just drove across town and killed her whole family and yeah, her, their yeah, dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog is where he got. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't yeah. like dog killers. No. Who do I associate myself? Well, obviously, Poe, the hero. Oh. Who just had to protect his wife. I like Baby O. Just being, I need my insulin. Yeah, because you're. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not. Uh, <laughs> pinball. Who, who's no not pinball? The other the guy who's a girl. Uh, oh, Sal- Sally can't dance. Yeah, that's yeah. you. That's, that's Define only. irony. <laughs> Bunch of idiots dancing on a plane to a song, to a song made, made about famous. famous by a plane crash. Yeah. 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 That's great. It is good. It is really this good. This is a silly movie. Uh, any other wild, ridiculous facts that we need to hear about? Pretty insane that they crashed on the Las Vegas Strip. Like, they had a low-flying plane that people yeah. called about. Yeah. And- what a wi- it was just a wild time for live action set piece movies. You know what I mean? Like even just the, the 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 absurdity of how Malkovich dies at the end of this movie, where he he oh he gets he, like killed like nine times. And, then and like he he's on the ladder, knocked from the ladder, then I never, into the like yeah. weight dropping thing onto his head. I never understand where he got like dropped off into that part. Like where was well the, then even the when dump. Cage even when Cage jumps off the fire truck yeah. and like rolls, it's yeah. just like this is. And he gets shot in the arm. He doesn't even flinch. No, of course not. Yeah, I love it was that. also a pretty bad shot. The yeah. guy was like five feet in front of him and missed his entire body and gave him a flesh wound on the arm. There's great one-liners that, uh, when the uh, Mexican drug lord uh, is covered in gasoline and he goes sigh and he goes anara and flicks the cigarette and explodes him. Uh, oh man, this is your kind of movie. Yeah, it's just fun. Max, or, it's not exactly my ties and uh, hula hoops out here. No, yeah, or something like that. Uh, and then, of, and then, of course, uh, as kicker, the uh, personalized license plate. Oh, yeah. Carry over from the 80s, if you will. Yeah. Of, of, uh, I was tired of that car anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. All right, Maxwell, I know we're we're flying, but that's what we do when you talk con air. You're flying. I think it's time for us to wrap and go over to the Buzz in the Tower fan spotlight. Max, today's Buzz in the Tower fan spotlight on this very episode called Gone Air, very special episode, is Curtis Kellogg. So I asked him to be the spotlight on a earlier one. He's like, yeah, yeah. nah, I don't like that movie that much. He's like, what about Con Air? And he's like, holy <laughs> shnikes. Yeah. Sorry. That um, Veronica Vaughn. <laughs> what are you apologizing for? What'd you do wrong? Uh, my voice, I need to cough. I don't know what to do. Well, <clears throat> maybe you should just cough. Next. Yeah, sorry. I don't know what to do. Set a reminder <laughs> that you should cough. All right. Uh, Curtis, big fan of the show. Been with us since the beginning. Yeah, Texan. Yeah. Navy guy. Thank you for your service. Oh, man. Rock Killed a man with his hand. Did he? That makes sense. Probably. Uh, Seven years in jail. Yeah. Palmed the nose. Is that real? Can you? Oh, yeah. You can kill someone that way for sure. Cool. Yeah, Have yeah. you done it? No. Never, oh. never killed a man that you know about. Max, let's hear what Curtis had to say about Con Air. 
Hey, what's up y'all? Curtis down here again in Central Texas. Uh, and once again, I'd love to thank the guys for having me on uh, Buzz in the Tower to do a guest spotlight. Uh, it's always a, an honor and a privilege to do so. Um, can't talk enough about today's film, Con Air. The iconic Con Air. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, but yeah, no, this was a, it was a, it was a lot of fun back in the summer of 97 when I graduated high school. But, you know, we won't Class talk about that. <laughs> we'll come back around to uh, the films of the 97 summer, you know, and how great they were. Uh, but as far as, like, the cast, my goodness. Um, you know, you look at this this diverse cast. Um, you know, all, all, all of them are, are heavy hitters on their own. And you have, you know, literally a plane full of these monsters. Uh, they, were, they were tons of fun back then, and they still are today. Uh, Nick Cage, you know, I think, you know, he, you know, he really came into his own as far as like, you know, action films, I think in this movie, it was one of his earlier debuts. Uh, but also remember like, you know, back in 97, everyone being kind of surprised by how ripped he was, you know, I think, you know, as many people expected, uh, Nick Cage to have, you know, that kind of physique. Um, uh, but you know, he's, he, he's pretty awesome. You know, can't speak much for that hair. Um, and that it's Southern accent, hair. they both had a lot more to desire, but you know, what can you do? Um. But you know, it, it was it was great overall. You know, and, uh, especially you know at the beginning when you sit down and you see that lightning striking the tree, uh, that iconic Bruckheimer you know logo in the '90s in a summer action movie with that logo, you knew you were about to go in for a good time. Uh, and uh, of course, it doesn't disappoint. You know, and it's still uh, you know fun and rewatchable to this day. Um, but yeah, the, like, you know, this, the summer blockbuster, especially that 97, I'm just going to run through a quick list. Like, my God, some of the movies that were in that summer, you know, you had Men in Black, Air Force One, Face Off, uh, Batman and Robin, The Fifth Element, Austin Powers, G.I. Jane, oh uh, Anaconda, The Saint, Scream. And that's just barely scratching the surface. Uh, you know, and this was definitely one of those that's up there with them. Uh, but yeah, there was, you know, so many good movies. Uh, like I said, that was a real memorable summer for me. Um, and anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, thank you to the movie uh, for giving us many gifts and memes that we you know, use all the That's time true. to this day. And, uh, you know, as Malkovich's character in the, you know, movie signed off with, I'll do the same by saying, Sai Onara. Better, guys. The Fifth Element. Yeah. And The Saint. I took my yeah. girlfriend's little brother to go see that movie. When I was, uh, That's weird. It, well, it was the summer before I went to college. Okay. He was, I think, like a freshman or eighth grade. So you're like the cool older guy. Soups. Yeah. The goops. He made me remember two things, though, by the way. I forgot that they do the predator editing of this movie where everyone well, smiles. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah. Who's that? <laughs> yeah. And also, if I ever run out of tattoo space, there was a tattoo in this movie I've always loved, but I can't get it. Uh, it's the Aryan Brotherhood, like blonde guy. He has like the little dots around his neck and it says cut here. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I, I can't get that. Yeah. God. <laughs> An idiot. It's just a, it's a like that's a manly tattoo. Just thank him for coming on the show. Thanks, Curtis. Jesus Christ, Max, <laughs> talking about you and your tattoos. Max, on that note, we just uh, we did our back to backs. It's, I'm exhausted. I'm ready to. You all right? I, this is a lot. It was emotional to do all this in one night, <laughs> but we got to do what we got to do. The people need their feed of Con Air. Yeah. Uh, a reminder: podcast on Apple Podcast, uh, on Spotify, any podcast player. Pop on by, subscribe, leave a review. Patreon.com slash Buzz in the Tower. Uh, Buzz in the Tower.com is our website. Any social media platform at Buzz in the Tower. YouTube is the way to go, though. Swing yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Find us, subscribe, leave us a little message about Max's amazing outfit. Another hit to our sponsor, uh, 80stees.com. Fantastic place to get t shirts. And America. And nice. America, really. And you're wearing America. In America. Yeah. Max, I got nothing else. What do you got? He's got the whole. Oh, I'll do it world. with you. In, in his, his hands. hands. Shut up, you crazy psycho. We're going to die. Every time I hear that, do you know what I think of? I think of Roxanne. He's got the whole. In his world. nose? Yeah. In his nose. Max. That's it. Get Feeling off. lucky. Get New shoe dad. Get New off shoe my dad. plane, Max. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you next week. Bye.